kids, welcome back to Teacher Chef's channel. Join me in a day of fun and learning. Hi kids! Our lesson for today is about responses to questions and informational texts. Informational text is a non-fiction text written with the intention of informing the reader about a specific topic. It presents factual details or information. And it is typically found in magazines, science, or history books, autobiographies, and other instructional materials. In this lesson, you are expected to ask and respond to questions about informational texts listened to, such as text about the environment, health, how-tos, and others. To start our lesson today, I want you to listen to a short selection that I am going to read, all about snakes. Snakes are scary, yet interesting animals. They are reptiles and are cold-blooded. They are limbless and has elongated body and tail. They can smell with their tongues. They do not have feet. They do not have ears. But they can hear through their jaw. They change their skin from time to time. A number of snakes have venom that can kill their prey. Their venoms are also used to create antidote against snake bites. They are carnivorous. They eat fish, chicken, mouse, birds, bat, and other animals. Based on the selection that I have read, answer the following questions. Number one, what type of animals are snakes? Good job! Snakes are scary, yet interesting animals. Number two, what are the characteristics of snakes? Snakes are reptiles, cold-blooded, limbless, has elongated body and tail, can smell with their tongues, do not have feet, do not have ears but can hear through their jaw, change their skin from time to time, have venoms, and are carnivorous. Number three, how will you describe their venom? Very good! Snake's venom can kill their prey. Number four, what do snakes eat? Good job! Snakes eat fish, chicken, mouse, birds, bat, and other animals. The selection that I have read is an example of an informational text. It presents factual details or information about a specific topic. In this case, it discusses facts about snakes. Let us have another selection. I am going to read a short selection for you and then you identify what details are asked. Quezon Province is the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area. The province is divided into two cities and 39 municipalities or towns. Lucena is its capital city. Kalilayan was the first known name of the province. It was later renamed Tayabas, in honor of the former governor of the province who later became the second president of the country, Manuel Luis Quezon, the province name was then changed to Quezon. Did you understand the short selection? Let us see if you do. Here are the questions. Number 1. What is the largest province in Calabarzon in terms of land area? Letter A, Quezon, B, Laguna, or Letter C, Rizal. Good job! Correct answer is Quezon. 
Number two, how many cities and towns are there in Quezon Province? A. 4 cities and 39 towns B. 3 cities and 39 towns or letter C. 2 cities and 39 towns Excellent! The correct answer is 2 cities and 39 towns Number 3, what is the capital city of Quezon Province? A. Tayabas B. Kalilayan or letter C. Lucena Very good! The correct answer is Lucena Number 4, before using its current name, what was the name of the province? A. Tayabas B. Quezon or letter C, Lucena. Good job! The correct answer is Tayabas. Number 5. Who was the inspiration in changing the name of the province from Tayabas to its present name? A. Jose P. Rizal B. Manuel L. Quezon or letter C. Hermano Pule. Good job! The correct answer is Manuel L. Quezon. Let us review once again the details in the informational text. Factual information or details are presented in informational text. These texts provide specific details about particular persons, places, things, events, and topics. Details in informational texts are basically determined by asking important questions such as what, who, when, where, why, and how. These questions serve as guide in getting the factual details about a given selection or text. And for my last challenge to you, once again, I'm going to read a short selection and then you identify what details are asked. A butterfly has wings with different colors and structures. Butterflies have wings which are covered with many tiny scales. They have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have taste receptors on their feet. They get nutrients by drinking from mud puddles. They see a range of ultraviolet colors invisible to the human eyes. And here goes our questions. Number 1. What covered the wings of butterflies? A. Tiny scales B. Tiny skin or letter C. Tiny holes Excellent! The wings of the butterflies are covered with tiny scales. Number 2. Where can the taste receptors of butterflies be found? A. Head B. Body C. Feet Good job! The taste receptors of butterflies can be found on their feet. Number 3. How do butterflies get nutrients? A. By seeing ultraviolet colors B. By drinking from mud puddles or letter C. By covering themselves Very good! Butterflies get nutrients by drinking from mud puddles Number 4. What do butterflies see that are invisible to the human eyes? A. Other butterflies B. Their wings or letter C, ultraviolet colors. Excellent! Butterflies see ultraviolet colors that are invisible to the human eyes. Did you get everything alright? I hope you do! Always remember that informational texts provide factual and specific details or information about a particular topic. 
These details are determined by asking important questions such as what, who, when, where, why, and how. I hope you understand our lesson for today and I hope that you enjoyed watching and listening. See you in our next class. Bye! Thank you for watching today's video. Hope to see you in our next class.